Hello, today I'm going to visit Louise, a pregnant client, and listen to her baby's heartbeat with a fetal stethoscope. I've got two examples here. This one is the more traditional midwife's fetal stethoscope. It's called a pinards. This one's in plastic. They also come in metal and wood. They come in varying lengths. This one is the shorter version. And this one here looks more like a stethoscope. It's got um, two earpieces, but then it has the, the bell trumpet at the end, which goes on the mother's abdomen. The advantages of um, fetal stethoscopes to a mother is that the baby is not going to expo be exposed to any um, unnecessary ultrasound waves, which can be really advantageous for some women in particular. They're really low-tech, cheap devices to use. They don't re require batteries. They're also brilliant tools for midwives and it helps a midwife ascertain the lie of the baby in the abdomen in that you can only really hear the heart clearly when the stethoscope is placed over the baby's back. So they're very, very useful tools there, keeping midwives' skills finely attuned. You think it's moving around all right, Louise? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay, just pop the hands down by side. Okay, I'm just palpating Louise's abdomen now, feeling her baby. There. Baby's back's on this side here. So your baby's lying like this, Louise. Bottom, back, head's here, and all limbs and knees are on this side, which is why I can feel knobbly bits here. Okay, so I'm going to use the pinals, which goes over here, over the baby's back. I can hear that loud and clear, Louise. It sounds lovely. I'm right over her back here. So if she was over here, I'd be able to hear it with on this side. As well? Yeah, as well. I'm also going to use this as well. This is called a fetoscope. Remember I used this a few weeks ago as well? Um, I must be a bit funny when I use this, though. It looks a bit daft. I don't remember that, actually. It's just like this. <coughs> It goes in the ear, so I've got to brace it against my forehead. Oh. I always feel a bit of a twit using this. It's excellent. So that's to hear the heartbeat as well, is it? Sorry? That's to hear the heartbeat. Yep, well. exactly the same. It's exactly the same as this, um, but you've got it in both ears, whereas oh. this is just one ear pressed against it. And obviously you need to support it, but not use your hands. So this is why you have it against your forehead. So it looks a bit silly, but it works very well. Mm -hmm.